Hey guys, Vincenta here with another video and in this one I want to talk about Vegeta Blue's Wreckers. I mention a lot how they are very flexible for his combos and used in his mix-ups but never made a dedicated video just explaining the Wreckers and when they are used. So I want to do that in this guide and I hope it helps everyone who is learning or already playing the character. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, some general information about his Rekkas. The first hit of the special cannot be anti-aired, even if it may look like that. That is of course only true if done from a grounded position, the aerial versions all still have head property. The follow-ups do count as aerial move though, so you have to be careful when try trying to frame trap with them. As long as you don't delay them too much, to age or vanish for that matter, will not be able to beat the Wrecker follow-up. But moves with one frame anti-air property will. All of the Wrecker hits are also minus 8 on block making them unsafe except for the enders. They are all minus 5 and you can safely end your block strings with them. Since the Rekhas are advancing specials, they can be used to move around as well. You are also able to do an entire Rekhas string on whiff, making them not easy to punish. The second hit is particularly good because it actually has a hitbox behind him. So even if the opponent tries to super dash at you, you can still get hit and you get a combo. Not only that, they also auto correct, similar to auto combos. So if the opponent saw you whiffing two wreckers already, they still cannot just punish it. This gives Vegeta Blue a rather unique movement option, in, especially in the air. It is of course without its flaws, so like everything that's good, if done too much the opponent will be able to adapt and punish you eventually. So these are the things you have to keep in mind for Vegeta Blue's Wreckers, no matter if you're playing or facing him. But now let's talk about all of the Wrecker parts individually, starting with the first light Wrecker hit. The first light like, wrecker hit is mostly for block strings and riff punishing. It can be true stringed into from all of Vegeta Blue's mediums and heavies, making it the go-to wrecker if you want to do gapless pressure. On its own, it can also be used to frame trap or stagger. Vegeta Blue already has good stagger tools with his lights, 5L and key blast. But with this he is able to apply stagger pressure even after he used his 5H. Even though it is unsafe on block, it has the same hit stop as jabs, making it hard to tell if Vegeta Blue actually stops at the light wrecker or uses a frame trap afterwards. So it is still very much usable for staggers, but you still have to keep in mind that it is minus 8 on block, so use it sparingly. The first light like, wrecker can also be used to whiff punish the opponent. One of the weaknesses all of the Vegetas have are the short normals. And while the first light like, wrecker doesn't have the greatest reach, it still gets the job done. You can look at it like an improved standing heavy, faster and better reach. In combos it is usually not used too much because it doesn't do great damage, but it has a few uses. The main one is that it doesn't gain as much hate, hate as the first medium wrecker does. So certain assist extensions as well as some side switch combos require you to use this one instead. The first medium wrecker is Vegeta Blue's main mix-up tool as well as an important combo tool. On block it puts him airborne so you can go for a strong 50-50 afterwards if you cover the gap with an assist. The hate is autocorrected, similar to the jump to H with mix-up of the other two Vegetas, so you don't need to delay your air dash to make the overhead and low hit on the same frame. This mix-up works with assists that only have 21 frames of block stun, so Vegeta Blue is able to use almost any assist in the game to do his 50-50. The downside is that it has a gap. The gap isn't big though, as it even beats Vanish before it's startup, so you cannot mash out of it. 
the medium wrecker is also pretty fast, so you cannot react to it with reflect or reverses. 17 frame is the same speed as the fast unreactable grabs like Sea Brodies or Goku Blue. Another similar move would be Kid Buu's medium ball, which is also used to get 50-50s. You can even use the medium wrecker on Oki as a meaty to instantly go into a 50-50, but you have to be careful of wake up reverses or delay tech of course, since it can get blown up if you are being predictable with it. Outside of giving strong mix-ups, it is also a good reflect proof option as it has good reach. This can catch your opponent off guard who expects to get an easy punish because of Vegeta Blue's short normals. Many combos use, a, use the first medium wrecker for two simple reasons. The first one being that it does the most damage without costing meter. The second one is that it has good corner carry since you can use it after both of his key blasts while the light wrecker would whiff in this instance. All of this makes the first medium wrecker one of the most important wrecker part of Vegeta Blue and his game plan. The first heavy wrecker, the X wrecker, is a neutral tool but can also be a good combo tool. It has great range and goes almost full screen, so it is very comparable to Bardock's Lariat. As many advancing specials, this one also synergizes very well with Key Plus, being able to lock the opponent down on block while nothing will come out on width. Unlike other characters, Vegeta Blue has access to a very good crouching Key Plus. With this, you are able to hit jumping opponents and close the gap instantly. This is extremely good in a game like Dragon Ball Fighters, in which jumping is so strong and common. The only option your opponent has is to either take the hit or super dash in time to punish the x wrecker but both of those options are risky, since in case I'm not going for the x wrecker I can extend with vanish and get a combo, or bait the super dash with 2h which can lead to a dead character. What makes this move special though is that even though it acts like a normal advancing special, it is also still a wrecker move. Which means even without an assist I am able to instantly take my turn or frame trap afterward if the opponent tries to take theirs. This is something no other advancing special in this game does as you usually need banish to keep your turn which can be reflected on reaction. One other interesting thing to mention is that the second medium wrecker also leaves you airborne for a mix up. It is usually not a true string, but if you manage to catch the opponent in the air, the additional block style makes it a true string, which means you are able to get a true string 50-50 while trying to catch your opponent's landing even from half the screen away. This move also has its uses in combos, since it actually boosts the damage of the follow-up backer. Even with that, Niagara extensions will still do more damage, but the x wrecker extension is cheaper, as it only costs half a bar instead of one. So if you have the meter to spend or your assists aren't available for your combo extension, this is a cheaper alternative to Niagara combos. Mitsuyu you can even avoid the meter penalty altogether if you use it after a 5H since it will whiff, but the follow-up will still receive the damage boost. That means you can get your damage boost without sacrificing all of your meter gain. On to the second stage of the Rekas, beginning with the light version. The second light wrecker follow-up is mostly used in combos or block strings, but also on Okisema. A lot of combos use this wrecker part before going into the wall splat, and there's a simple reason for that, hit stun decay. The second medium wrecker adds a lot to the hit stun timer by not building more meter or dealing significantly more damage. Being a single hit, it doesn't have the greatest corner carry, and that's when the second medium wrecker shines. But for corner combos, this one is the go-to wrecker follow-up. In block swings, this follow-up becomes important if you want to go for gapless pressure strings. It is a true string from any of the previous wrecker, as long as you don't delay it, of course. It also leaves you airborne if used after the first medium wrecker, but the pushback is greater and it doesn't really improve the mix-up, so there isn't really a reason to do that. One thing to keep in mind here is that if the first medium wrecker gets reflected, the light follow-up will get auto-reflected as well. You usually want to avoid the opponent reflecting your wrecker at all, 
but it means that you can use the medium wrecker ender to create a reefer proof string that still leads to a 50 50. I will talk more about that when I go over the medium wrecker ender. So far, the light follow up's purpose seems to be only as a bridge between the first and the last wrecker, without anything too special about it. But on Oki, it gets actually interesting. The wrecker, light wrecker follow up actually recovers airborne, but in normal block strings it recovers too low, so you cannot air dash and get a mix up. But on Oki, this is different. You can actually jail into a light light wrecker after a safe jump, and if you do it high enough, you recover airborne for a 50 50. That way, you are able to get a 50 50 from a true string out of a safe jump, which of course also hit confirms into a combo. The medium follow-up is a combo tool as well, mainly for corner control. It hits multiple times, so the main purpose is improving your corner carry, be it from mid-screen combos or full-screen combos. Because it hits so many times, it gets you not only closer to the corner, but also to the hit stun limit, so if corner carry isn't a factor, you should use the light follow-up instead. The medium follow-up is not only used for corner carry, but also side switches with assists. Since it also hits behind Vegeta Blue, you can actually make the opponent fall behind him and then extend with an assist to get a good damaging meterless side switch combo. So this move is one of the wreckers that allows Vegeta Blue to almost always get the corner, no matter what. In block swings it can be used as a frame trap after the light or heavy version since it is a natural frame trap. Since it hits so many times, it also makes hit confirming really easy, so you have more time to choose the correct Wrecker Ender. This Wrecker follow up also recovers airborne, giving Vegeta Blue another point in his string at which he can apply 50 50. This version has two disadvantages though. The first one being it being a Wrecker follow up, so it is easier to see coming, unlike the first medium Wrecker, which can be placed at any point in your string. The second disadvantage is that it's a multi-hit on block, which makes it possible to guard cancel on reaction and deny the mix-up altogether. So should you never go for it? Not quite, since this one also has a few advantages. For once, if you condition your opponent to look out for that move, it makes staggering with the first light or heavy wrecker easier, since they will not be mashing in that case, which is very good. The second advantage is that if the first wrecker connects with an airborne move, then the medium follow-up will become a true string. This is especially useful in combination with the first X wrecker, since you are going to be using that in neutral and catch landing opponents. The heavy wrecker follow-up, the second X wrecker, is another mix-up tool as well as a combo tool. When I say mix-up tool, you might be thinking of surprising your opponent with a sudden cross-up and get a solo mixer. And while this is something you can use to catch someone sleeping, this is not how this tool is supposed to be used. When using the first medium wrecker for mix-ups mid-screen, you might run into a problem depending on your assist, and that is pushback. Assists like Beam, who are excellent for Vegeta Blue, push the opponent too far, so that the low option won't connect anymore, not even the medium low. This is what the X follow-up is for. It positions Vegeta Blue behind the opponent, and the assist now pushes the enemy towards him. You still keep your air option, and since high-low mix-ups aren't affected by cross-up protection, you can get your 50-50, no matter how much pushback the assist actually has. This gives Vegeta Blue a much bigger pool of characters you can use to get 50-50, since the pushback factor can be eliminated with this. Of course, you won't need that in the corner, but if you want to go for a mix that is completely a true string, you can use light heavy light. That way you can go for a cross up or same side super dash even if you are in the corner. Not something I would go for often, but it is an option available to you. In combos its main purpose is to side switch when your back is in the corner. You can use assist to side switch meterless, but if you don't want to or cannot use it, this option will do more damage than any meterless solo side switch. With the X follow up you also don't need to worry so much about screen positioning when it comes to extensions. Usually the medium ender will not allow you to extend mid screen unless you use vanish, 
Super Dash or Run Up to M will just whiff. But the second X follow up changes the wall splat of the medium ender. Suddenly you are able to connect Dragon Rush, Super Dash and even 2M mid screen without any problems. This way you can use that side switch effectively even if your back is lit not literally touching the corner. You can be a bit further away and still side switch without having to worry if your combo is close enough to actually connect since it will work anywhere. This Rekker follow up even has one unique application in neutral. Like all other Rekker parts it can be done on whiff, but this one has a bit more reach than the light version. This enables Vegeta Blue to use medium heavy Rekker to act as an advancing special that goes completely full screen. The big advantage this has over many other advancing specials is that Vegeta Blue recovers airborne. So using the same concept that we used to get mid screen 50-50s, we can use this to get a 50-50 from full screen most of the time when we catch the opponent landing and greet him with a mix up. Since you are doing two Wrecker hits it's a bit on the slow side so you need to be careful when using it. The Wrecker follow ups can also be anti air so using this against grounded opponents is not the best idea. Vegeta Blue's Wreckers only have two follow ups so these will be the Wrecker enders of course starting with the light version. The light Wrecker Ender is usually used in block strings as well as in combos. Just like the other light versions and heavy versions, this one is a true string from previous Wrecker parts. So light 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 would be a complete true string which you can use to safely end your block strings with or get pressure with assists if you don't want to risk getting reversed. Of course heavy light light works exactly the same. Another benefit of that string is that it corner carries well on block. So even without fearing reversals, it can be a good idea to use the gapless string just to carry from mid-screen all the way to the corner and continue your pressure there. For combos its main advantage comes from the fact that it doesn't use up smash. That way you can hit confirm wrecker hits into an assist or extend hits from a standing medium. If you don't have an assist available, Vegeta Blue has access to combo extensions with his Niagara Super. So you can hit confirm with that as well. This also plays an important role in corner carry combos as Niagara combos can be used to do full corner to corner combos. The medium wrecker ender is an important combo tool especially in the corner and also used in block strings. This move wall bounces so most of Vegeta Blue's corner combos will go into it eventually. In the corner it allows you to connect grounded normals, super dash as well as dragon rush, very useful for super dash extensions without an assist. Mid screen you will need to vanish to extend except if you use the X wrecker on the second wrecker hit. It changes the wall spell of this move so you can get all those extensions even mid screen. In block strings it can act as a way to end your strings with if you don't have an assist available and you committed to Wreckers. Unlike the Light Ender, this one is not a true string, but it positions Vegeta Blue further away, making it easier to escape and get back to neutral. Since you want to go back to neutral when using it, Reflake isn't really something you would worry about in that case. But you still have to be careful of other reversals or one frame anti-air. But all of those can be baited as well or you just go for the Light Ender, which is completely safe. The medium ender also acts as a reflect proof option if your first medium wrecker gets actually reflected. Usually you want to avoid that at all costs but the medium ender can give you an extra safety net. To completely get out of the mixer your opponent will have to reflect twice. One time to actually reflect the medium wrecker starter and of course also reflecting the assist otherwise I might be able to get my turn back. This double reflect can actually be baited and punished by Vegeta Blue alone. If you do medium light medium wrecker, the last medium hit is also able to punish the double reflect. To add to that, on hit you get a combo of course, but on block you still get a mix up since like all the other medium wreckers, also the ender recovers airborne. So this is another strong option Vegeta Blue has to discourage and punish people who think they can reflag their way out of this mixer. The only downside this one has is actually one of the advantages it had previously. It positions Vegeta Blue further away from the opponents, so the crouching light won't reach. 
This mix-up is not as strong like the from the first or the second medium wrecker, but it makes up for it by giving Vegeta Blue more utility against Reflect. The x Tracker Ender is another one of Vegeta Blue's combo tools. The second x Tracker is used if you want to side switch, this one is used if you want to corner carry. Oftentimes used as a solo super dash extension, it allows you to connect Dragon Rush or Air Dash jumping light mid screen. If you are able to reach the corner though, Dragon Rush will whiff because of the big wall bounce. In that case, you can simply mash light and get your sliding knockdown that way. The corner carry is also used as a cheaper alternative to Niagara combos since you are able to carry from one corner to the other thanks to this move as well. Of course, it being cheaper also means less damage, but you save half a bar if you're going for it. In the corner you get a slightly better extension than with a medium wall bounce, but it is usually not worth it. If you happen to land a 5M starter though, like after a blood guard cancel, and you want to burn a lot of meter, you can actually do more damage with a heavy light heavy wrecker combo than with a Niagara combo. Outside of medium starters though, Niagara will always be more damaging as a meter dump combo. Just like the other X wreckers, this one is also a true swing from previous wreckers, with the exception of the second X hacker hit. The same way it changes medium wrecker ender, it also slows down the X tracker ender, so it is not a true swing in that case. Its main purpose on block is to give Vegeta Blue another true string mix up option. Like like heavy is a true string, but what is interesting about it is that you will side switch on block as Vegeta Blue will pass through the opponent. Now you can use your assist to push your opponent towards you again and get a left right mix up, which gives him a bit more variety between all the high lows he is doing. Since it is never good to rely on just one trick alone, having another way to set up pressure and mix ups gives op the opponent a lot to look out for, making it harder for them to read your habits and counter you. So that wraps up my wrecker guide. Vegeta Blue's records can be kind of confusing, especially when you just pick them up, but I hope I was able to break them down in a way that makes them easier to approach. If you think I left something important out, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I see you guys next time. On a scale of one to ten.